The most important thing to understand is how passive infrared motion detectors work. The motion is looking to see motion and the heat signature matching a human being. To avoid false alarms, it is important to avoid potential false alarm triggers like pointing the motion at windows, televisions, mirrors, or reflective countertops. Also, avoid fireplaces or space heaters. Windows are especially troublesome because they can be heated by the sun and motion of objects show through. You should also avoid aiming the motion detector at areas where there is a heat duct or air return vent. Even if these areas are not directly in the view of the motion detector, they heat or cool an area quickly and cause motion from airflow. Vents or air returns can cause curtains, plants, balloons, or other items to move, which combined with the temperature change may trigger a false alarm. If you have pets, there are a couple more considerations to identify. Even the best pet owner will agree that sometimes our furry friends get up into surfaces where they should not. Avoid mounting your motion detector within a six-foot arc of any furniture like a table, chair, couch, or other surface where the pet can jump up to a point higher than the floor. Similar to furniture, avoid pointing the motion detector at stairs because a dog that appears as a dog on the floor can look more like a human to the motion detector when climbing the stairs. The second sensitivity setting makes the motion detector more or less sensitive. In the same way you adjusted the pet immunity setting, simply remove the jumper by gently pulling away. Finally, it is important to install motion detectors in areas that can remain free of insects. Although the motion is sealed to prevent insects from getting into the sensor, insects crawling across the front of the motion detector can trigger a false alarm. Once you've selected a site to mount the motion detector, grab a ladder or multi-step tool that will allow you to mount the motion detector at 7.5 feet from the floor. Using a small screwdriver, remove the set screw on the bottom of the motion detector, separate the front and back of the motion detector, and install the included batteries into the motion detector. The 2 gig motion detector can be mounted using the plastic mounting bracket or the back plate can be mounted directly to a surface. First, drill a pilot hole through the top center of the back plate if you are using the mounting bracket. There is a depression known as the mount bracket guide in the plastic to mark where you should drill. Use the provided screw to connect the back plate to the plastic mounting bracket. Next, Choose between the wall mount bracket for mounting on a flat wall or the corner mount bracket for mounting in the corner of a room. Remember, the optimal mounting height of the motion detector is 7.5 feet from the floor. After selecting the mounting bracket, use the bracket as a guide to mark holes with a pencil for drilling and drill two pilot holes. Mount the mounting bracket with the provided screws into the holes that were drilled in the prior first step with the post on the outside of the mount facing up. The mounting bracket has an adjustment screw, which when loosened, allows you to adjust the tilt of the sensor using the raised guide on the bracket's joint. Refer to figure 6 in the installation manual to determine the best mounting angle for your installation. When you have determined the proper angle, make sure to tighten the set screw. The mounting bracket is made to slide directly onto the vertical post of the mount. The back plate of the motion detector can be mounted directly to a flat wall or corner without installing the mounting bracket. Note, this method eliminates some of the fine adjustments that can be made when using plastic mounting bracket. There is a depression known as the wall mounting guide in the plastic to mark where you should drill. Use a pencil through the pilot hole in the back plate to mark the proper mounting height of the motion detector, which should be 7.5 feet from the floor. Drill a pilot hole on the pencil mark you made and then fasten the back plate to the wall using the provided screw. If you are mounting without the mounting bracket in the corner of the room, drill two pilot holes on either the right or the left side of the back plate. There are depressions known as the corner mounting guides in the plastic to mark where you should drill. Choose the holes that will help the motion detector face the direction to match Maximize coverage area. Secure the back plate to the wall using the provided screws. With the rely panel in programming mode, place the cover of the motion detector onto the back plate, but do not fasten the set screw. Pull the motion away from the back plate, and you should hear the voice on the rely panel call out the name you have given for the motion detector. If you hear the correct name, Replace the motion onto the back plate and fasten the set screw. Please note that your rely panel will not be sending any alarm signals until you complete the setup process. With the set screw facing down toward the floor, point the motion detector to ensure the greatest area of coverage and slide the mounting bracket over the post on the mount or onto the mounted back plate if you mounted it directly to the wall. 